Hey there, my name is Christina Suntornvat, and I am the author of the Diary of an Ice Princess chapter book series. And today I'm going to read to you from The Big Freeze. So the Diary of an Ice Princess books uh, tell the story of Princess Lena. She has this amazing life. She is a princess with a royal family. She lives in a castle in the sky and she has magical powers. She has powers over ice and snow. But the thing that she wants more than anything in the world is just to be a regular kid, a regular girl going to school. And she does manage to go to a regular elementary school, but she has to keep all of her powers a secret. So she can't let anyone know except her very best friend that she is actually an ice princess. And in this book, The Big Freeze, which is the fourth book in the series, uh, Lena has two really big projects going on in her life. She has a lot of pressure in her life. The first one is that at school on the ground, they're working on this really big art project. And the second thing that's going on is that her grandfather, who is the North Wind, the big, big magical North Wind, uh, wants her to choose what her task is going to be, like her her big job that she's going to do with her magical powers. So there's a lot of stuff going on in her life. Um, and I'm going to read from the second chapter. It's called The Royal We. Oh, look, and you can see her cute little dog, Gusty, there. So, all right, Saturday. Whenever you see a royal family in the movies, it always seems like they have such easy lives. They sip tea, go to parties, and glide around in big poofy dresses. In my family, being royalty means doing work. Everyone in our family has a very important job. Okay, everyone except Gusty. His only job is getting ear scratches. For example, my mom and grandfather are both wind tamers, which means they can control the wind and weather. Mom's job is to bring the spring rains. Granddad is the north wind. I love him so much, but sometimes Lena, my favorite granddaughter, finally decided to show up. And that's grandfather, granddad. He's a little bit strict, a little bit grumpy. And whenever he talks, he yells because he's the north wind. His big booming voice can get a little intense. I go to granddad's castle every Saturday to practice my magic. I'm a winter heart, which means my powers are all about ice and snow. So what are we doing today, granddad? I asked him this morning. Sleep making, icicle shaping, a little polar vortex formation. Lena, today I want to talk about the choosing. Oh, okay, well I really like those sesame crackers you buy, so I don't mean choosing snacks. I mean choosing your path in life. We have been practicing many different kinds of winter magic and you are making great progress. Granddad doesn't pass out a lot of compliments, so I was very proud to hear him say that. When I first started my lessons with him, I couldn't keep my winter magic under control at all. But now I've learned so much. Here's a picture of some of the things Lena's been learning how to do. This is her best friend, Claudia, and she's a big part of this book, too. When you grow up, you will have a very important task, just like your mother and me. You are doing so well with your winter magic that I think you could be ready to choose your task very soon. Seriously? I gulped. Doesn't that seem early? The sooner you choose your task, the sooner you can begin focusing your skills, which are getting stronger every day. Gosh, diary. Granddad had never praised my skills so much before. Felt like I couldn't say no. But choosing the job I'm going to have for the rest of my life? That's a much bigger decision than picking out an afternoon snack. So, we'll have to see what Lena decides. Do you think you could pick out your job? Do, do people ever ask you what do you want to be when you grow up? And you're like, I don't know, I'm just a kid. That's kind of what Lena's going through right now in the big freeze. And lots of fun, snowy hijinks ensue. There might possibly be a meltdown. <laughs> and these are the other three books in the series. There's going to be six books in total, and I'm really excited to share those with you. Thanks so much.